We are talking about Amazon closing its $8.5 billion acquisition of MGM. What that means for Stargate and what that means for our favorite franchises. Because <clears throat> as far as I know, it's time to get to work. Isn't that right, Shane? That is right. And I got to tell you guys something here. Stargate, oh, Stargate on Amazon. Let me tell you what. Amazon is... Amazon is a... Wait, what were we talking about earlier? Before you finish that thought, if you haven't already subscribed, please head down there, hit that subscribe button, okay? And the like button if you want to. Because a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. And, you know, we need more subscribers, okay? That's it. That's that's, that's simple. Now, what were you saying, Shane? Now, I'm just saying Amazon's a gangster. <laughs> okay? Amazon is a gangster. Okay, so FTC is like screaming... Uh, yeah, we're not going to let this acquisition go through. Amazon's trying to be a monopoly, blah, 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 blah. And Amazon's like, look, <clears throat> we're going to give you until mid-March to, to figure something out. So the FTC was split 2-2. And there's a great video we did on it that you can catch on our Prime channel that goes into it really in, de in depth. But essentially what happened was, just this week, the European Union was evaluating it and they gave it flying colors and said, yeah, there's nothing going on here. And the moment that happened, Amazon's like, okay, we're done. It's, it's done. The deal's over. We've, we're, we've got MGM. Because they were the ones allowing the FTC to basically holding off on closing the deal until the FTC had an opportunity to look at it. That was the, the, the concession that they made. Right. But it was Amazon's decision to choose now the ftc can still come back and be like no 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 that was illegal this ain't you know and and take it away somehow but as of right now amazon's like nope we're closing it mgm is ours the deal is done yeah and the odds of that happening are slim right slim very slim and the reason why was it was split two and two two dems two republicans and the the democratic fifth member hadn't been sworn in um yet because of the broke of the split congress and he couldn't get a senate confirmation in the senate so you know what so for the first time in probably the history of me ever the remembering washington gridlock actually did us a favor washington gridlock did something good it's it's possibly going to give us new stargate <laughs> so you know what's really sad right there ready we are praising them for not doing their jobs thank you so much for being so slow and so bad at your jobs <clears throat> that we are we we have the opportunity to get some new Stargate. Thank you. Thank yes, you. It, it's usually so negative. It's nice to be able to turn it into a positive. All right. Um, but so, what does it mean now? Does this guarantee that Stargate's going to come pumping out right away? It doesn't. Um, but what we do know is that uh, MGM's leadership is now becoming part of the Amazon Prime leadership. Um, mm -hmm. So. So that step is taking place. And for everybody who's like really unhappy with how Amazon has handled the um, the uh, Wheel of Time reboot or the Wheel of Time series, yep. and for everybody who's who's really unhappy at what it what seems to be happening with the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, and uh, the way that's coming down, everybody's like kind of down on Amazon. Let me just remind you that. Um, Amazon has a tendency to let each showrunner kind of operate their own show. Right. They're not politically driven specifically based on... So if you think that Amazon executives and Amazon Prime are coming into the rings of power uh, and saying, listen, you guys have to change the dwarf. You have to do this. You have. It's not. There's a showrunner and they're making all of the decisions for it. And so... That's kind of what's happening at that time. They're making the decisions, and then, good or bad, that's kind of what Amazon ends up going with. Now, I don't know if this is going to be good business down the road, but that's what's happening. So, why is that good for Stargate? The reason that's good for Stargate is because Brad Wright is likely the person who's going to do Stargate. Yeah. Because he is the creator and the originator of Stargate. Um, he believes in maintaining the canon and maintaining Stargate's true identity. The integrity. The integrity of, of Stargate. He wants to maintain that. So if he gets the show, and he's allowed to create a new Stargate series, 
then it will be more like The Expanse, the way that was done, where they stayed true to their storytelling. The Stargate will likely also do the same. It won't be all woke. Unless, of course, Brad has become woke, which I hope that's not the case. I doubt it. I doubt it, too. Yeah, I doubt it. So this is great news. Yeah, it's great. It's been It's phenomenal news. I'm so glad that politicians are bad at doing their jobs. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, the European Union's antitrust regulator said they unconditionally approved Amazon's proposed acquisition, <clears throat> in part because MGM's content cannot be considered as must-have. Essentially, MGM's not big enough, doesn't have enough content for them to be considered cornering the market. Yeah, can I ask you a question? And I know we cover it in our, our Stargate video, but for the love of all things that are holy... How can they even? Um, how can they say that this is an antitrust lawsuit? But they let Disney buy Fox for seventy plus billion dollars. Uh, yeah, I mean, essentially, it's because the um, uh, Lena Khan, who's in charge of the FTC, has a big old hard on for Amazon. That's all it is. She really wants to bring Amazon down. She's been trying to do it for three years, and she's taking every opportunity. Anytime they do something that's within her purview. She's trying to mess it up. She doesn't like Amazon's big business model. She doesn't like the fact that she don't think they're paying their employees enough, that they, they hire their, you know, they, they give their employees raises within. There's a whole bunch of stuff to it. She's a hard leftist that is just anti-Amazon and she wants it broken up. And I get it. I understand the idea of being, of being anti-big business, but Disney's a bigger business, right? Yeah, but you know what's funny about Disney? It's like... Who wants to like be the person responsible for bringing down Mickey Mouse? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like you explain that to the kids. You know, yeah, oh, yeah. Disney doesn't Jeff exist. Jeff Bezos anymore. is Lex Luthor lookalike with a billion dollars, right? And, you know, you know. the happiest place on earth. And Mickey Mouse, like, oh, what's wrong? You know, I'm just, I'm just here having fun buying Fox. No big deal. Don't even look over here. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Well, I, yeah. Well, I'm with you, but, you know, and for the same reason, like, I recognize that Amazon is likely. I mean, there's a part of me that's, like, to totally impressed with what they've done uh, since we've been alive. I mean, 2000, you know, in the, in the late 90s, they just, they basically set the cornerstone on, on the Internet and said, yeah, we're going to own the Internet. And they've just, they haven't stopped. So there's, so there's part of me that's impressed, but there's also part of me that's terrified because, uh, you know, they're doing everything. They bought Whole Foods. They're, they're... Basically, you can't be online without... Everybody needs AWS nowadays. They're like the number one... Yeah. It's you know... Really the only way to roll. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Um, when... when What year was it that we went to VidCon? Uh, 2018? 2018, right? Yeah. All right. In 2018, I was on some guy's show. You can find this video on YouTube. And the show was basically... I say a statement, then he has to, this guy has to uh, re re rebut that statement, right? Okay. So I say something that I believe wholeheartedly, and then he has the opportunity to rebut that statement and then put it. I remember that. Right. Yeah. And my statement, if you recall, was Amazon's an evil corporation and we'll all be working for them within 10 years. <laughs> okay. I remember that. Yeah. The guy looked at me like I was nuts. Um, and I went on this rant about them, you know, at, at some point in 10 years, um, all the only jobs you can get will be working at an Amazon factory or a drone operator. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was or like delivering 10, now. Yeah. Like a 10 minute rant, rant about it. And the guy's like, uh huh. OK. Well, thanks for being on. I appreciate that. <laughs> he didn't even refute you. He had no re 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 rebuttal, no refute, nothing. He was like, okay, well. <laughs> okay, well, have a good day, guys. Thanks, thanks for coming. And his video was on his channel for all of about uh, a week before it was off because it just did, it had no views. Because instead of him and the guy usually arguing, it was like me just saying something for 10 minutes and him being like, there's there's no rebuttal to it. Yeah, no. nothing. So I I copied the video. I got to share it at some point, but okay. uh, he just immediately the video was deleted from his channel. It's a it's a it ended up being a fairly big creator too. Which I, so I wish that maybe he I had given some space for him to <laughs> argue to allow him to argue back. Yeah. But instead, I just like he had no there was no argument. Amazon is gigantic, and 
in the future of Idiocracy, we'll be working for what Taco Bell and, and Mountain Disney Dew. or whatever, right? Mountain Dew, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll be drinking Brondo, working for Taco Bell. Starbucks will be a a, 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 a coffee shop and a a bordello. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. And <laughs> Brando, the thirst quencher. <laughs> and The Rock will be the president of the United States. Right. But I would argue that the only reason that that, that that movie didn't include Amazon on the list of people that would own everything is because of the time it was made. Yeah, I agree. It because would have been. If it was been... made today, it would be not be Taco Bell and Carl's Jr. It would be Amazon, Disney, and maybe another food company like uh, McDonald's or something. Yeah, like that. something like that. Uh, look, Archmage Frey says, so you would say Amazon is feeling the wrath of Khan. Oh! <laughs> you need to go watch our other video, man, on the main channel. Yeah, because well, on this channel. Here, it's, here, can it, I play that clip? You got it? Yeah, I got it. Here. Yeah, we definitely capitalized on the Khan thing. We cap- <laughs> heavily capitalized on the... <laughs> Uh, how ironic her name was properly con yeah i'll, I'll find it there was like a minute con 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 i told shane i was gonna do that he goes listen that's hilarious but like don't make it don't make it like kirk saying con for 20 minutes straight <laughs> <laughs> knowing my brother he would do that yeah <laughs> con uh, what well, we wanted is a bunch of different people playing saying con that would be perfect all right ready guys here we go it's expanding power con 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's great oh man all right well that's enough of this um Let's oh, see. so can I just say one more thing? Yeah. So what we're waiting on now is we're waiting on MGM to kind of get lined up with their leadership in place, and then we're looking to start watching Brad Wright for movement. That's where we're looking. So, you know, if he stops doing his podcast soon um, and you st- he starts to kind of go quiet, you know something's coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if he's no longer on the companion app, and you're like, oh, right. I haven't seen him in a couple months. Like, okay, oh, yeah. okay, start following on social media. Yeah, I think I think that when Brad stops moving, is when he's moving. Yeah, and you can also keep an eye on Joe. Joe Malazzo. Malazzi. 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 Sorry. Uh, yeah, you can keep an eye on him. See what he's doing because I'm sure he. I think he might be going with Brad if it happens. So. Yeah, they were doing a lot of uh, streams recently. Yeah, and we'll be we'll be. Th- We'll be looking closely at that and kind of watching it. So we'll give you guys a heads up if we think something's coming. How great would it be if we got Brad Wright and Malazi back together again on a Stargate show? It'd be great. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. What a day that would be. Fantastic. All right. Well, listen, we're going to move on here. But uh, on the way down to the comment section to uh, voice your opinion, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and the like button if you care. See you tomorrow.